cleaning. You really want to know how dirty your air in your house is? All you got to do is look at your ceiling fan. Because see, basically it's no different than your nose. You walk around the house and breathe all day. It spins and collects all day. That's why you have allergies. That's why you wake up in the morning with a stuffed up nose. Okay, I'm gonna do a little teaching in this. Whatever you're using here is in direct reflection of the height of the customer. Make sense? Because the reality of it is, I don't need either one of them to touch eight feet to clean a ceiling fan. I don't need to hold the blade myself, but they don't need to know that I'm that, or, you know, I make it look that easy. You need to have it like they're this tall, or you may have to do this. This is how you clean that ceiling fan. It's got to match whatever they're going to have to do to clean it. It can't be what I can do. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean it. Do you clean all five blades? I always leave one dirty. I didn't make them dirty. I didn't all of a sudden put it up there and leave it. It's like, you're not going to leave that, are you? Well, it was here when I got here. I'm there to make results. And I hope it bothers them enough to buy. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna pull two or three claws with your dusting with your dusting tool. Now you're gonna get rid of all of this. And now you're gonna go dust something else. Okay, now if they've got real dirty baseboards. You'll get a ton of stuff off of it. Yeah. So you're, what you're doing is you're looking for things that are dirty <coughs> that they can't clean. that question mm -hmm. does that make sense are you asking that question pull a 
cloth or two with it. How do you clean your walls? You ever wanted to vacuum your ceiling? Yes. You need to, right here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Underneath a ceiling fan, or above a ceiling fan, it ain't under it, but it is, is always going to be the dustiest place on a ceiling. Now, if you get into an older home that has popcorn, take that and do it. And the thing that will surprise them the most is how little amount of popcorn it pulled off. There will only be one or two pieces. It's amazing how it doesn't disrupt it. See, but then I build value with that. Then what do you do with this? Put it on the back. Yeah. What are you going to use this for? How about let's go clean the coils on your refrigerator? Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> Look at the response you get. Right. <laughs> See the response? Huh? Let's go clean the fridge. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. How do you clean the light trap on your dryer? You know why you need to? You got a nice house. You don't want it to burn down. Yeah. Let's go. And I'm going to clean the light trap on a dryer with it. That's what that one's for. You ever want to blow up an air mattress? Yeah. A floaty for a swimming pool? Now let me tell you the cool thing about this. This little thing right here moves that flap. Oh, so you don't have so to... So you can inflate them by putting it on the back where air comes out. Or you put it on the front and you can suck all the air out of them. You ever tried to get all the air out of one so you could put it back in the oh, box? Oh, yes. That's a hassle. This is how you get it all out. You just pull it in, you suck all the air out of it. Inflate and deflate. Okay? Incredible.